Hi guys! Hope you're having a pain-free or at least a tolerable pain day today. Um, my name is Melody and I'm going to talk to you about a subject today that a lot of people ask about on forums, on IIH forums, uh, chronic pain forums, stuff like that. And uh, it's kind of a touchy subject, but it is something that I wanted to talk about and that is the use of marijuana with chronic pain slash IIH. Now a disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. You need to talk to your doctor about your options when it comes to treating yourself or having them treat you or any medication or anything you take um, for your illness. What I'm talking about today is just my experience and my thoughts on it. I'm not telling you to go do these things. Um, my main thought today is if you're thinking about going down this path, do your research. Do your research before you try it because sometimes you can make yourself worse by doing things that you don't research first. Also, disclaimer number two, I live in Washington State where it is legal for recreation and medical use. So I'm going to be talking about uh, my experience here in this state and what is available to me. Now, if you are in a state where it's illegal, don't do it, okay? Because it's not worth it. And I understand that when you're in pain and stuff, you'll do whatever you've got to do to make yourself feel better, to make yourself function and everything. But the healthcare system <laughs> in the prison system is god awful trust me it's gonna be a thousand times worse if you end up in jail for something you did illegally to try to make yourself feel better you're not gonna get the help you need in jail I'm just telling you straight up I used to work in the prison system it's not gonna be worth it okay so if it is not legal in your state don't do it okay um, but let's talk like it is legal in your state um, whether it be recreational or medical um, and I'll talk about my experience with it and um, how it has worked or hasn't worked for me um, again do your um, I have notes down here so if I look down <laughs> that's what I'm doing um, do your research do your research do your research um, not all marijuana strains are the same there's two major ones um, called indica and sativa. I keep wanting to call it stevia, <laughs> but it's sativa and indica. Okay, now those two strains do two different things to your body. Okay, one strain, um, the sativa strain is more of a head high and it's good for anxiety, depression. Um, it can increase alertness. It is better for a day use. Um, it's not really good for pain. So if you're looking for pain, stay away from sativa. Whenever I have gotten it, I get the indica. The indica is more of what you would call a body high. Um, it's good for relaxing your muscles, nausea, your sleep patterns. When I try it, it always puts me to sleep. Um, and it's that one to me is more for pain, the indica, than the sativa. Sativa is good for anxiety and stuff. Um, or yeah, sativa is good for anxiety. Indica is more for muscle and pain and stuff like that. So know your strains. Um, also there's two difference in, you have to look at your, um, amount of CBD versus THC. Now the THC is the stuff in the marijuana that actually gets you high. And CBD is actually more for inflammation and pain. A lot of people can get by with low to no THC in their um, oils or edibles or uh, muscle creams, stuff like that. A lot of people can get by with just CBD and actually CBD is more available in some states but some states it's not so please make sure to follow your state's law um, if I go in to get something I get 
something that's going to be in the indica strain with higher CBD and lower THC levels. Now, if you go into a reputable dispensary and you tell them what your problem is and what you're looking um, for it to help you with, a good reputable dispensary can help you out. The one I go to is called Locals and it's here in Spokane Valley in Washington and the people there are awesome. They know exactly what things you want to try and if something doesn't work you go back and say hey I tried this it doesn't work what can we try next and they're very helpful they're very knowledgeable they're um, <laughs> first rule if you go into a dispensary and the employees are high walk out because number one it's not professional number two they're not gonna have their head straight enough to help you and you're going in there not for recreation you're going in there to get help for your pain that's two different things two hugely different things okay understand that recreation and medical two vastly different things I'm not one and I don't judge you if you do I'm not one for recreational recreational marijuana I don't do that um, for me, when I've tried it, it has been to help alleviate some of my symptoms, some of my problems, um, to help with my seizures, to help with the pain, um, to help with sleep, stuff like that. That's what I've tried it for. It's been all medicinal. Um, I'm a firm believer that uh, the government needs to let um, doctors and and companies and stuff test these things out for this I firmly believe it would help the opioid epidemic um, it's something that if taken correctly is not as harmful as an opioid um, again do your research on it don't take my word for it do your research there's a lot of videos on YouTube um, with reputable uh, companies and and doctors and stuff like that like the Mayo Clinic UCS UCLA um, and other reputable places that actually do videos and do podcasts and stuff on this topic. They're very knowledgeable. They're doctors. They know what they're talking about. Uh, look up some of those and, and go off what the facts are, not just what somebody tells you, okay? That's including me. <laughs> um, anyway, I, I would recommend that you do something that's more high in CBD than THC. I'm not one that likes to do, I don't want to be high. I just don't. I want to be able to function. That's all I want out of my medication. I just want to be, be able to function through the day. Um, you're going to have to try different things. That's just the way it is. There's not enough known um, about the different strains that um, are out there. Because, yeah, you have the two main strains that indicate indica and the sativa well there's a lot of cloning in those areas and when you walk into a reputable dispensary it will be overwhelming because there are so many varieties that have you know you'll have the true strain of sativa and you'll have the true strain of the indica but then they also have the clones where they put them together and it'll have like maybe more of the indica or more of the sativa or so on and so forth and um a lot of times I will do, I will do a mix, but I'll, it's heavy indica. Um, and it's, you have to try it out because there's some that work and some that don't. There have been a couple that I've tried that actually make my headache worse. They don't help at all. So I have to be very, very careful about what strains I use and what mixes I use. Um, and what may work for me may not work for you. And Honestly, there's some people who's allergic to it too. So you, you gotta be careful. I Treat it like any other medicine that you take to make you feel better, okay? Um, the way it works from, from the research I've done is the cannabis goes into your body and it finds the pain receptors in your body. Um, and they change how the receptors work and they calm down those signals so your pain isn't so bad. Um, that's kind of the, the, the thoughts behind it and the research behind it that they've found so far. Now, as for what I use, 
I'm going to be trying to do my, learn a little more editing because I've taken pictures of these and I didn't want to bring them downstairs. Well, there's a couple of things here, but, um, there is a relaxing, calming bath salt. And when I say bath salt, I don't mean the drug. I mean actual like Epsom salt bath salts that I use when my body and my head is, is like in the muscles in the back of my neck get really, you know, hurt a lot. And it's infused with indica oil and it has 100 milligrams of THC in the whole container. I use about a quarter of a container per bath. And let me tell you something, that stuff relaxes me so good. And you don't get high. It's not, it doesn't, you don't get high through the skin. It just, it gets in just deep enough into those muscles and stuff that it just, it's just like a, and it's nice before bed. Um, the, the company is called Ceres. Uh, series the C E R E S um, bath salts. Um, if you're gonna try it, I'd recommend those. Um, again, you don't get high off of it. It doesn't enter the bloodstream. It's just kind of a topical bath type thing. Um, another one that I use. Um, also, the bath salts are like twenty dollars um, for a container. Uh, the other one I use is a Muscle Melt Gel by Green Revolution. I don't have it with me. Um, is 150 milligrams of THC and 150 milligrams of the CBD. And I use that actually on the back of my neck and sometimes on my temple. And again, that doesn't get you high. It's a skin topical type thing and it actually has the, the stuff that warms up and it almost smells like, uh, the hot muscle rub stuff. <laughs> I can't think of the name of it now, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, but that stuff is awesome when it comes to my stiff neck and stuff like that. It helps calm that down. Um, and it's great. Now, it is expensive. <laughs> it's like $45 for a bottle. But you get a lot and you don't have to use a lot when you use it. Um, again, that's somebody that would be great for somebody who has muscle aches and pains. Um, and like me, I, my muscles get stiff when I'm in pain because my body is tense. And so it helps me out a lot, and I do use that quite frequently. Um, another thing I use, and I actually have that here with me, is the Green Revolution Cannabis Tincture. And it has uh, 250 milligrams of CBD oil and 5 milligrams of THC. Again, this is something that's high in CBD, low in THC. This does not make me high. This is what it is. Let's see if we can focus but and I get this at my local cannabis shop um, I pay approximately $30 for this and I take I know it says take more but I'm one that I hate to take medicine I don't care what it is and I view this as medicine I don't use it for anything else um, I use about a half a dropper to a full dropper depending upon how I'm feeling um, this helps with uh, my moderate low to moderate pain it does not help on my huge pain days I'll just be honest it doesn't help um, but on your low pain days um, stuff like this this works wonders it tastes terrible <laughs> and what you do is you take it you take the drop you stick it under your tongue and you just let it kind of do its thing um, but I keep that on hand a lot for the low pain when I've got to go do something, I'll probably um, take a little bit of that before I, I, I did my makeup and my hair today because I got a doctor's appointment um, shortly after I filmed this video. But I'll probably do that to help me kind of get through uh, what I need to get through. Um, also, something I've tried is a vape pen. Um, you can get these oils, um, these little cartridges at your cannabis store as well. This one is a sativa or a indica sativa blend, but it's high in the indica. Um, as you can tell, I haven't used it a lot. I've had it for almost a year because nine times out of 10, smoking marijuana will actually make my headache worse. So I try not to. I also, for somebody that's not I guess like me, I'm one of those people, I don't like to be out of control of my body. And there are edibles out there that are great. They are wonderful. 
and they have those at the dispensary as well. But be very careful with edibles <laughs> because a little bit goes a long way and you have to take into consideration that it takes like for an hour or it takes like an hour to an hour and a half to two hours to actually work because it has to go through so much more to get into your bloodstream. So if you're going to try edibles, my advice to you, take a bite, wait an hour, see how you feel. If you think you need more, take another small bite. But, and do it at home because you don't know how it's going to affect you. I had an edible one time and I took a bite, waited 30 minutes and thought, oh, it's not doing anything. Took another bite. I was flat on the couch feeling like I was sinking into it. <laughs> never again. Never, 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 never again. So if it's something you want to try, I've heard that edibles actually are the way to go for pain relief. Um, after my experience, I don't want to do them again because it is a lot more potent. Um, but to each their own. But my advice, take a little bite, wait an hour. And then you can try more. Um, but anyway, again, that's just my opinions and my experiences with it. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm not telling you to break the law. I do tell you, talk to your doctors about this. I have talked to my doctors about this, and they have given me their advice. My doctors tell me, if this is what works for me, then do it. Um, but... Again, I, I don't ingest it anymore because smoking doesn't work for me. Eating it, edibles, I, I don't like the way it makes me feel. So a lot of the stuff I use is just topical. You don't get high off of it. It's more of a muscle thing. Um, but I know a lot of people that it's helped. And I am not opposed to that. If it helps you and it is legal in your state, try it. But do your research. Do your research. Do your research. <laughs> okay? Don't just go off somebody's word of mouth. Do your research. Find a reputable dispensary. People who know what they're talking about. People who know the strains. People who have done their research. And a lot of times, like, there's a girl at my local dispensary who, she doesn't have IH, but she does have migraines. And she understands the head thing. And she'll tell me, hey, this I tried this. This works for me. You should give it a go. So, you know... Find a good, good local dispensary that you can talk to the employees. Make sure they're not high. If they're high, they're not there for the right reasons, and they, they're not going to know exactly what they're talking about. I'm sorry, but that's just my feelings on it. Um, that's just my feelings. Should they use the products to know what it is? Yes, but they should do it on their own time. Um, anyway, that's all I've got for today. I hope this has been informative and helpful to some way. Um, if you have any other questions about it, let me know. Um, but yeah, I just figured I'd sit down and kind of make this little video and let you guys know what my experience was and my thoughts on cannabis and pain, um, so on and so forth. So hope y'all have a great day. Hope you're pain-free and have a tolerant pain day. So We'll talk to you later.